We about to go into this. I hope y'all excited. Stop scrolling, Brody. You dropped this. This is your crown, man. Pick it up and wear it. You know what I'm saying? She said, your, your crown has been bought and paid for. Put it on your head and wear it. If you got dreams, man, go after them. People going to try to stop you from living your dreams. Or people going to try to hate on you or kick your shit over when you start building your sandcastle. Fuck them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. We about to get into it. I do hood movies, so y'all going to have to just kind of uh, deal with me. <laughs> but when they call you back to work off, you get off employment. You know, after un unemployment, a lot of people was uh, blowing their money. They wasn't investing properly. This is like an investment thing. Just wanted to let y'all know. So this is the new cast member meeting. The making of a movie star. You are the next movie star. You feel me? How you are going to get famous, famous with this web series. That's what we talking about. I want celebrities jumping off of my platform. You feel me? Famous, famous. This is what we talking about here today. Now, fame, a lot. some people turn around from fame. And that's, that's the thing. They was calling me the fame God because fame has to do with me putting out my work, a lot of people seeing it and liking it or feeling some kind of way about it. And then celebrity has to do it. Now when they see me, they celebrate because they the, my work was so impactful on their life. You know what I'm saying? Now, how is that a bad thing? How is fame a bad thing? Fame comes from doing something notable. And then all these people know about it. That's where fame come from. I did something notable, something that I could point back to that mattered and meant something. And being a celebrity means you celebrate it <laughs> when they see you, when they feel your presence. That's what I'm talking about here. Now, so when we talk about the three secrets of the fame formula, it's a, fame, it's a formula we got on how we create fame. You know what I'm saying? Look, here we go. This is an award-winning movie with 3 million views when we created fame for all, with all these people. You got Spanky Hayes on here from Wild and Out. You got uh, Carl Payne was in his boy from the, from uh, Martin. You got Martell Lane, Ha Ha Davis in his front of this thing. You know what I'm saying? We won a war with this thing. This ain't just by chance. Boom, look, 30,000 uh, followers on the YouTube, boy. Another uh, five on LinkedIn, another five, 40,000. I got about 100,000 followers, dude. So let's just say who this training is for. The tra if you're just starting, if you've been looking to get into acting, but you just didn't know where to start, this is going to be perfect for you. I work with a lot of brand new artists and they take off. This is an awesome platform for you to come learn a bunch of stuff. We're not getting over on you. We're not letting everybody else get over on you. We're actually teaching you and training you proper strategies on how to promote yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you got a deal, you can bring it to us and so you don't get fucked over in the deal. You know what I'm saying? We just here for you. You know what I'm saying? But if you like, that's more if you already activated, if you already got in projects and you performing, but you want to take your brand to the next level, you want more exposure, you want bigger royalty checks deposited in your account. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you how to do that, well, you, you, how to get streaming money and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to teach you how to get more fans, you, how you could get more fans, how you could get more followers, more views on your shit, how you could get more likes on your shit and more opportunities. That's big. Opportunities is big, man. You get on a, you get in a platform on a platform like this and you showcase and express your talent and so many people see it. Now other people are like, hey, man, I would like to work with this person because you got so much exposure doing your thing in high quality. And, and what's a movie is like the biggest thing. You know what I'm saying? So that's and we talking about. Let's go back. And then you're going to get all of that through starring in Murder City. You feel me? So does this sound like you? Have you jumped in countless projects only to be lost and confused when they don't work out? You try promoting stuff and then nobody supports you, your friends, nobody supports you. You know what I'm saying? Is it, is it sometimes you're trying to do something, now you're trying to build a website or some shit? You know what I'm saying? Uh, do you find yourself wondering how people with less talent than you are more famous? Why are you still struggling all these hours in? And then you like, no matter how hard you try, you just can't get to that next level. You know what I'm saying? I know it's the next level because as you get to a, a certain level, you're a made celebrity. No matter what uh, MC Hammer do, this nigga's made. He's MC Hammer. You see what I'm saying? He got to a certain point. You feel me? So let's go. Now, my promise, you must stay with me to the very end of this thing because I got a special thing for you. If I'm going to give you the most powerful secrets that will help you get yourself seen, heard, felt faster than you even know it's possible. And I hope it excites you so much you're going to be climbing over yourself to get to the special invite I got at the end. That's the case. If that's the case, I want you to move fast because we are filming this weekend. <laughs> it's your last chance to get in here today. 
Fair deal, bang. Okay. Why am I the one to help you get your first or your next million views in a gang of new fan, fans and followers? This is me and the gang right here. We shot uh, Drugs and Strippers. This is a movie we shot. Drugs and Strippers. This is the gang right here. We pulled up. To, this team came together. We shot a movie. It was in the theater in 45 days. We got a deal for it right now on the table for this movie. That's the mob. So I learned the hard way. I started in 2002 making music. I tried all kinds of stuff. It wasn't working. I put my, my name on lighters and shit. I get a box of lighters. And I was just like, man, you know what? I'm going to put my name on my album on the side of this bitch. It wasn't even no big light. It was the cheap one. I'm going to put my name on this bitch. And then every time somebody smoked, then they're going to see my name. I'm like, bad. That's dope. So I got a box of lighters. I thought I was going to be famous as hell. I had like 50 lighters and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I've been trying stuff. And I've just been growing from there. I invest over $100,000 on promo strategies. And for a long time, I still had less than 1,000 subscribers. They told me, just post every day, and then you're going to have subscribers. I was posting like a motherfucker, and I still didn't have over 1,000 for a long-ass time on YouTube. I didn't have over 1,000 subscribers. And then uh, I dropped a music video. It went viral. Then that's when it started, and that video dropped. And then I had the first black reality show in Detroit. So... And so you're working with, it's a formula to this fame. I'm still relevant. It's a formula to this fame. And these are industry secrets. Like one time I was putting out a secret about promotions. Somebody hit me up like, why are you putting that out there like that? <laughs> I'm like, what is this, slave era and shit? I'm just talking on this bitch for 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? But they act like I gave up the whole kingdom and shit. I'm like, it's way more than that I got for niggas. But anyway, let's go to fame for me. Let's get it. There's three secrets to the fame for me. There's three parts to it. Three parts to the fame formula. One is the machines, the invisible machine. You cannot see this machine. It's like the fucking matrix. It's the one, it's the machine. Two, it's instant fans. It's an echo that come. And then you got instant fans just become fans instant. And then number three, activating the haters. You feel me? So let's go through these right now. The invisible machine, number one. Now this is how I started to figure it out. So my first album this is my first album right here we hit the streets with it we were selling the dvds for ten dollars and shit you know what i'm saying and then from my album cover a couple of people were starting to kind of like they thought they seen me somewhere and i was like oh that's kind of cool but i was spending it and i was doing all this shit and i thought i was getting money but i wasn't getting no more famous i'm just out here with these fucking cds right so <laughs> then i finally dropped a, a video i was i had got to the streets by by this time so I'm in Charlotte. Somebody from Charlotte just hit me from this video. We shot a video, paper in my pocket, and we put it on Al Nuke show. I'm like, hey, no, I'm like, I came home and I'm watching TV late as hell at night. We just had like BET uncut and shit. But it was like a Detroit version of that shit. I had just shot this video in Charlotte. And so I wasn't doing shit with it. I just shot it because I had money. I do music. I'm just shooting this video. I'm going to show some motherfucking girls or something, you know. So I'm over here, boom. He, he and, uh, and I came back to Detroit. I'm looking at and on the TV and I see his show and it's a local show. And it's like, if you want your video on here, he called this number. I'm like, oh shit, I call the number. I'm like, well, how much? He like 400. I'm thinking it's 400 a week to get your shit on TV. I'm thinking this shit 400 a week. I'm like, he was like 400 a month. I'm like, hell yeah. I'm like, what's up? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm ready. I didn't have shit to do with this motherfucker. So anyway, I put it up there. Boom. It gripped the city. It was going crazy. Now, when they see me, now niggas in the streets will see me and they kind of come up to me. Now I'm a street guy. Why is these people coming up to me? I don't even understand it. They come up to me. What does this nigga want? But he was a fan. He had noticed me and shit, but he just, it was like a different level. So boom. So boom. There you go. Another video. This I'm doing 200. I'm doing 100,000 views back then, man. You know what I'm saying? So it was big. So let's go. This is another video I had did. So then I seen Flavor of Love. And he had the girls and they was trying to get to him. I'm like, that's dope. I could do a show like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get out the streets. I had a girls. They had tried to get to me. The winner went 10,000. You feel me? They all got to run around and make money every day. I'm like, I had seven girls run around and make money every day. That's $700. If they all do 100, that's $700 a day. Four bands a week, 16 bands a month. We get, you know, I'm, I go to, a, I found a producer. I'm like, look, man, we could do it like this. We can make money with the show. Nobody was making money with their show, right? <laughs> So, but anyway, this is Flavor of Love. This is Flavor of Flav. So I end up talking to the guy and he ended up giving me my own show. He gave me my own show. When I got my own show, now I done went from people kind of noticing me to people coming up, you know, oh, I know you from, man. 
to now I'm riding up the streets, people pointing through the car. They freeze. That's you. Hey, I'm like, damn, this nigga seen me through the window. You know what I'm saying? It was another level when I hit TV back then. That was crazy. So anyway, so I'm doing TV. I'm doing TV. It's getting all like stuffy, like bureaucracy. Like, like now I got to go to some meetings and shit. I didn't get in this shit to be doing meetings and shit. I'm fly. I don't want to do that shit. I looked over. It's a lot of hard work to get that TV stuff going. I seen hood movies. Oh, man, niggas are doing millions of views of hood movies. They talking about them all over the fucking country. Hood movies. I'm like, what? I put my money up and made me one. <laughs> and then I'm like, I'm getting into movies now. Because movies was slapping everything. Right, reality TV was cool. You got like love and hip hop, but you ain't got a whole bunch of dope ass, you know, reality shows. You I mean these hood movies slapping off? So okay, so I put my money up. I did. I did to come up. I did millions of views right here. Go millions of views right here. And then I just wanted to be able to tell my story without somebody telling me what I could and couldn't do, right? But we got this formula, right? The reality, what I got, what I got is I got hood movies, and now we got hood movies. So now we got. Murder City is a hood movie. Now can you guys see the platform that you guys are about to jump on? And it's a starving market with hood movies. So some people, they look at, I look at it like Picasso. You know what I'm saying? People are like, man, it's just a hood movie. It's just a hood movie? What you mean? When it come up slap, it's no hood in America I haven't been in where nobody noticed me from the come up. Somebody noticed me in every motherfucking hood I've been in in America. You know what I'm saying? This is something that we actually liking and watching, but nobody is producing for it. It's good to watch Marvel and Spider-Man jump off the wall and shit. You know, but some kind of time that ain't shit that you could really connect with. This shit going on in the hood. My man just got shot. You know what I'm saying? Where's the shit I could watch to connect with that shit about? You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, this is real life shit that's going on in the hood that niggas ain't talking about. That's why hood movies are so well received because it's got what's called a starving market, a starving crowd. This is a real thing in marketing. In marketing, they say, what's the best way to get rich? They say, find a starving market. Somebody they where they want it, but it's nobody giving them the thing that they want. It's so, it's a, I, I did an exercise with one of my guys. I was like, just imagine yourself rising outside of yourself and rising up and you could look down over your whole neighborhood. You just up high as hell looking down over your home. And now imagine all them people, it's like three, four, five hundred, six hundred people in your neighborhood right here. And ask yourself, how many of these niggas like hood movies? Niggas like, damn, like over half. Over half of the city like hood movies, you mean? It's a million, two million people around this bitch, you feel me? So it's a real power in hood movies. I just want y'all to see that right there. That's the machine right here. Secret number two, instant fans. It's an echo. So, like, watch this. Who who seen Girls Trip, right? You got Regina Hall, you got Celebrity. Tiffany Haddish, Jada Pinkett Smith, Queen Latifah. But who is Tiffany Haddish? Back then, nobody knew who Tiffany Haddish was. I didn't. My people didn't know who Tiffany. But she said something about putting something in her booty. And next thing you know what? She's a big celebrity. Before, she, before the movie even came out, she was doing talk shows. Because she had got that famous. From that one small little instant of time that she got on camera to show her life, bang, she showed. Snakey told me one something one time. He's like, give them what they're looking at. Well, give them what they're looking for when they're looking at you. The Snakey told me that he's a comedian, famous motherfucking comedians, man. Just one of the rocks of the industry. He told me that shit. Now, you got Tiffany Haddish. They looking at you, baby. A camera on you. She said what she said, and she said it how she said it. And she was famous from a commercial. Most niggas ain't even seen a movie. I still haven't seen a movie, but I know Tiffany Haddish from that one moment. So now it's the, hey, the question is, can you act? Okay, so I'm, you, you know, I'm here. I'm acting with Spanky Hayes. You know what I mean? First time we act, it was, it was crazy. Cause he, he, like he does, he a different type of animal. So now I'm just coming a regular act, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He and this bitch doing Michael Jordan moves and shit over here. I'm like, what is he doing? What is Spanky doing Michael Jordan moves for? We just about to act the scene, right? It was cold outside, but that's not what he was doing. He, he tuning up so he could kill me in the scene. But I didn't know that until I walked into the scene, into the trap, because the scene was written for me to win the verbal altercation. You know what I'm saying? Walk off looking cool. But he kept saying his lines in such a way. That kept making me look like the dickhead. It was like, damn, I keep looking weak as hell in this scene. <laughs> Spanky killing me. 
You feel me? So, but anyway, acting is a real thing. You feel me? But the thing is, now I mean, let me take you over to this. Look at all these people I'm working with, man. A lot of these people are just just starting people, and then I got a lot of celebrities around me as well. So now I get a, a, a I get to work with a range of people. So now when you coming into something, it's experience working with new people here. It's not like where's this new person? Why they don't know where to go at on the set? You know what I'm saying? It's not like that. We used to working with new people. You feel me? So look at this. You actually get in real movies. You coming and you just learning how to act. But look at this. Boom, hood chicks. That that lady right there, that's uh Slim Goody. She is the she was a twerk queen of Detroit. She got the fake titties. I mean the big titties, the big ass, all that shit. It looked good on camera. She was so dope for the role. Now look, she started. Now I was I, I gave her some lines. Let's go back. I gave her some lines, and she was reading the lines. I'm like, ah oh, damn it, she got the look. What in the hell is going on? I'm like, she's a stripper, man. It's got to be. Something going on because she a stripper, man. Why can't she act? She talking to niggas all day. She is not telling niggas her real life all day. You know what I'm saying? She she's not happy all day, but she get money, so she got to know something. She act. So look, so I'm, I'm I take her to the side, pull the side, I say, look, man, stop fuck that script. Stop reading that shit. I'm like, look, you know what you're trying to say, right? This nigga done did this. He done pissed you off. Now what you gonna do? Now she. I'm just, next thing you know, the very next scene, she had it. And she had it. Now watch, in the movie. This is the scene kill me. She busting his gun at somebody, but she didn't got hit in the waist. Shot, right? So after she busts the gun, boom, she still got to hold her side because she hurting and she's limping off a little bit. Man, I'm like, she got it. You know what I'm saying? Just instantly. So you don't have to be on camera long to get your, your, your face off, your, your shit off. You don't have to be the best actress when you first start to get your shit off. You feel what I'm saying? This is created for artists. This is created for you as a platform for you to get on there and develop yourself. You know what I'm saying? So you get to another point and then boom, now you know what to do on set. Now you got a real, I got an actor friend, Detroit guy in Atlanta. He go by uh, Detroit guy. He said, he was like, let me show you my, let me see you my film reel, my actor's reel and shit. You know, he sent me his actor's reel over and shit. He got all these, cli these clips out from these different movies he's been in. And she's a bunch of movies. I'm, he's like, man, I'm working down here. But that shit was dope as hell. He got his actor's reel and shit. He said, he was like, this is how I get to work. He's been in all kind of big ass movies. I seen him on a, a, at a, a round table with Taraji P. His, you know, <laughs> you know, it's just, you know what I'm saying? So this is created for artists. This is a platform for you. It's the same type of machine Hollywood got, but it's for us. Hollywood, they just take, like say they take Jamie Foxx. They like, he the nigga now. So now they put him in the hot shit. They get the big budgets with Jamie in it. Nigga sleeping on the street so I could be, I could be in a, a damn a scene with Jamie Foxx, you feel me? Because it's built up and he is, they got, they go to guy. When they got they go to guys, you know what I'm saying? Leonardo DiCaprio, all these guys, they they go to guys. That's where the money go to. That's where the platform and shit lay out for. Now you not going in there. <laughs> you think you, you think you just gonna walk on the set with Jamie Foxx inside a Hollywood production, but it's probably not just gonna happen like that. So I was just me here now. I was in Royal Oak. It was a, a actor's mixer or something. I'm there as a director, you feel me? So because I represent uh being a filmmaker. So I'm in this thing. But I, I'm, I'm noticing it got tables lined up all around the wall, these vendor-like tables. I'm looking, every table got this little clipboard. I look closer, it's a sheet full of acting roles. So all of these different tables got different movies going on and they're looking for actors and actresses for their projects. And they got the roles, the exact roles they looking for people for, already written out on here. And then I'm looking. So now mind you, I'm somebody you get millions of views. I, my face has been seen millions and millions of times. I'm looking on these sheets. And it was not one sheet in this whole place were a role for somebody like me, a brother from an urban back to a bright urban background. It was not one role on any sheet in a building. And I, I realized what kind of opportunity that we have right here with this shit because ain't nobody doing it like this for real. So we even got these awards right here. We got on the left, that's the 100K award. You do 100,000 views in a project with us and you was integral in the team that put it together. You get the 100K award, we get people awards, they busting out crying and shit because they never got awards. You see what I'm saying? On the right, that's the come up award. That's known as actual award. You know what I'm saying? Known them along. So here you go, activating the haters. Here we go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they, they wait until you do all the work and then they come to steal. So like, watch, I just put the movie out. When I put the come up out, like, why you doing it? You know, people all got shit to say and everybody dragging and they have kind of, but when you put that bitch out and that bitch shooting off doing 100,000 views a day, 
Everybody now all of a sudden, every other nigga saying is they movie, they done made it. Well, first they were saying that they did this part. Now they said, next thing you know, they made it. Now niggas saying they made my movie. How did you make it? Nigga, I put the money up. I done cast everybody. It's my life story. How you make the movie? But they just stealing. They trying to trick other people in. But what is the thing? What is the key here? Your haters is your biggest promoters. Because niggas are like your shit. They'll love it to their heart. But they might not tell nobody. They like a hood movie. You know what I'm saying? They might not tell nobody they watch hood movies in their spare time. But if a nigga hate you, if he hate something, he gonna tell everybody every time some of uh, your name pop up, fuck that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So oh, uh, Uncle Ruckus jump off this nigga. Yeah, you feel me? So, but that's good because now your name keep traveling. Let's get it. But watch this. These niggas don't be having no hits. This is a thing. So now we talking about opportunity right here to be a part of Murder City. You could be a part of the Murder City series. It, the the, the storyline is like the dopest shit I ever did. You know what I'm saying? You could be on two. We already got a deal with two. We already got a deal with Amazon. It's not even a problem. It's just going straight up. You feel me? So you got this type of opportunity and you will have somebody on the other side telling you not to do it. Like, what, like, like, what do you mean? Like, what? I had a, I had a stripper friend. And I'm trying to tell her, come on, jump in this movie. Go, you can invest in it. I'll let you have something to move. You'll have percentage. I'm just I'm just giving her all the shit. You feel me? I'm just giving her the, the game, the whole shit, because I fuck with it. She talking about some other nigga telling her not to do it. I'm like, he telling you not to star in drugs and strippers? The, the shit that's already up and going good? I'm like, because I knew the other nigga was making movies too. So I'm like, well, what kind of role he got for you? Because I'm knowing that most times in movies, Women don't be having the best roles. You got to just be the crackhead prostitute or something real quick. I suck a nigga dick or something. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, what kind of role he got for you? She's like, well, he don't have no role for me. I'm like, so I'm talking about you starring in some shit over here that's already slapping. And you talking about he ain't even got a role. Why is we even talking about this nigga? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, some people will try to pull you from an opportunity and they don't have no hits. They don't have nothing with no views on it. Now watch this. Who is this? Mark Zuckerberg. Why is Mark Zuckerberg important what I'm talking about? Because this nigga got a platform with two billion people on it. So if you're trying to get seen, why don't if you have if you're trying to stop a nigga from an opportunity going on Tubi, Amazon Prime, Hulu, and being in theaters and being on red carpet premieres and shit coming out, having pictures with fans, you're trying to stop somebody from doing that, but you got a hundred view a thousand views and five thousand views on your biggest hits. You know what I'm saying? Could don't be fooled and confused by these poverty pimps. It's 3.5 billion people on Google. You feel me? So like if you're trying to get seen, nigga, it's all kinds of ways to get your face out. I give my movie away for free. I just be giving that bitch out. Why? Because I told y'all opportunities. I guess I get I'm saying I'm being seen millions of times. I'm a celebrity. They celebrate when they see me. Everybody give me all kind of shit. I'm in shit free. Shit fun as hell. My life is slick. You know what I'm saying? I get this movie away for free. I put 50 racks in. They like, why would you give it away? I tried to put that bitch out and get niggas to pay for it. It was like going slow as hell. I'm like, damn, we're going to be all like 10 years trying to get this bitch going at this rate. I'm like, yeah, just put this bitch out for free, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. Now what? Now what happened? Like, hit, share, comment, follow, message, friend, photo. Somebody was, it was, I was in some after hours. I'll be in after hours and shit. I'm in the after hours. This girl, this lady was down from uh, Indiana. She was like, they admire you in Indiana. Can I get a, uh, can I get you on my Snapchat? <laughs> you feel me? She's sitting on my lap. Yeah, go ahead. Put me on your Snap. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? It's a whole, we got a whole automated system in the behind the scenes now too with Black Hollywood. So now when you on, and when you get likes and followers and shares and all that kind of stuff and these people want to follow you and they raise their hand, boom, it's a computer that'll take their information for us, for you. And then all your fans and shit, take their information for us and then contact it like it's you. So now you're building a relationship with your fans. And what I found, and this is a key, I'm gonna drop, I'm dropping hella game on this thing, man. Listen, when people see me in the streets, they come up and they be acting like they know. I, I, the first time I really felt it is when the feds had me and I'm, I'm in a fed building and we going up this motherfucking elevator and shit. And there was a guy, it was a European guy next to me and he was kind of looking at me like he knew me for a long time. I'm like, how is it? I'm like, because I, I just felt it. Why? Because even watching me, he did know me. I just didn't know him. You see, when I put my stuff out in these movies, 
These people, when they see me, my fam- I'm I shake in the movie. Most time the shit is just a hundred of what, who I am. The only thing that went out is drugs and strippers when I'm shooting niggas with two guns. Yeah, that's a little bit. But everything else is really my character. So when people see me, they know me for real. I just don't know them. But what's happening with these with this program and this, this chatbot that we got, this the system we got over here now, when y'all programming y'all messages to y'all followers, it's really you. They really, you building a relationship with thousands of people at a time. This is something else. I'm telling you, I'm telling you about a secret, a simple, a, a, a fame formula that I use. And we did the, uh, the come up, we dropped it at the Charles H. Wright Museum. We dropped it at the Charles, that's the Black African American History Museum. I'm like, the come up is going to free niggas. I'm like, this shit is entrepreneurship. I want to do something big. I don't want to just put it in no theater. Priest like, man, I'm looking all over. Everybody drop everything at the start. I didn't want to do that. Priest was like, how about the African-American? Then, you know, the Charles H. Wright Museum. I'm like, that's perfect, because I really just want to break niggas out of slavery. What happened? Standing room only in this, this is it right here. I'm in here with the crown on, standing room only in this mug. This is me right here, standing on stage talking. These are two of the actresses. We taking all pictures like this. How would you like to take pictures like this and be everybody coming to see you in a, in a project in the Charles H. Wright? You telling your family, yeah, come up to Charles H. Wright. Museum, because I'm in this project. Everybody dressed up. That's the kind of stuff we do. And well, we just siphoning traffic from Facebook. <laughs> that's one of the things we do. It's like so, it's so simple to uh, really just tap into the matrix. And that's how we get. You got a fame formula. It's simple. Is that amazing that we here and you got access to us? It's simple for us like that. You see how much faster and easier you can get real fans going crazy for you when you got a machine behind the, the machine. They talk about the machine all the time in history. Now you can have it behind you. Do you want to, that's what I want to ask. Do you want to star in a Murder City series? Is that something that you want to do? Do you want to star in a series that's coming out? You know what I'm saying? Okay. I know I've been hitting y'all with a lot of stuff. So I got a quick offer. This is, the, this we're filming this weekend. So this is like the last chance you're going to have a chance to do this. So I'm going to introduce you guys to the machine. This is Black Hollywood. Right here, we like to do it big, you feel me? Look, this is Spanky Hayes on the left. He's one of the guys that started wilding out, man. He was the funny nigga from Detroit. He's in it, Nona Malone, she's a porn star. She got uh, the, the ice cream cones on her booty. She was with Gucci Mane and shit. So she big, you see it with my two big 50s. But you know, they go Rob Curry, he was just dancing. Y'all see, he was just viral. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Famous comedians over here. Uh, Tommy Chun right there, Tank, you know what I'm saying? All us in it, man. You see, we here, Bell Sinatra. But, you know, it's like a celebrity affair. We even got some BMF guys in that motherfucker. Mac, you see him right there. You feel me? We in the building with this. So what's going to happen when you get on set? Get your interview done. Who don't want to sit in front of a camera and tell their life story? You know what I'm saying? How good would it feel to be to release that? that you, I got a book I want to write. You sit down with our professionals and you just tell your side of your life story. Go ahead, let it out. What happened? We're going to try to build your character around that. We might have a situation from out of your life thing with your scene in it. So now you could actually see your idea come in the flesh. So boom. And what's this? We got an acting program. My man in the middle right there, that's Ace. He passed. He got in a crazy car accident and messed his face up. And he was, I don't know, he just passed, man. But what happened? His family could go back and look at the movies and see him in his prime form. Like he living the day, turn it on play and watch him move around. You feel me? I and mean, this is a certified program. Look, like I say, you get the 100K award. You get the uh, the come up award for a million views. You know what I'm saying? They go known with her award right there, taking pictures. And then that's the two-day action workshop. That's usually $500. So you get the interview and then you got, oh, that's the two-day action workshop. So you get the interview where we sit you down and we interview you. Then you get the actors workshop where you could come and you could, uh, we, we teach you about acting. We go over, uh, uh, we help you and go over roles with you. That's kind of where we figure out who we want to use, who, what kind of chemistry we got. You know what I'm saying? What are we working with? And then the actor workshop is where we figure that out. So we go right. Oh, I went back one. You got the uh, the fans to follower training, fans to follower training. You actually get actual books right here. You know what I'm saying? If you crack them or not, it's on you. But look, there go the people that came through the program with their books. This somebody, thanks, bro. I truly appreciate it. I met a few years ago. Who knew I was struggling with coming out, coming out with my brand and had no direction. And he pointed me to this movie, talking about the come up. And that's why that's that's why I made my decision. Thanks, my guy. 
See what I'm saying? So it's a lot of fans, and we're trying to train them to be followers, to keep following what we're doing. We're going to keep putting out stuff that's going to be impactful on their future. You know what I'm saying? That's why they follow. Look at her. This is one of my fans I was telling you. They light up. They celebrate when they see us. You see her over there smiling? Boom, you get that. That's a $297 value. So that's like $900 worth of stuff already that you're going to get. You get the star in a real movie. This is an acting program where you actually could come in and not only is you just training and acting, rehearsing, train, acting, rehearsing, to learn how to re rehearse for, they got actors. This is what I found out in the acting community. They, uh, they get turned down so much. They got that thing where they don't even be trying to get the role. They hype themselves up just to go do the audition. Like, nigga, I killed that audition, nigga. Ain't even a project. I don't know. It's something going on. I'm a filmmaker, so it's a different kind of lane. You feel me? But you will actually star in the movie that's coming out, not just be in the program. And look at this. We should, my man pulling out professional shit right here. You see us on set. This is a real set. You see the white, the, the SWAT on the back of this shit. You know what I'm saying? All this is real. This is what we doing. You see us on set, big boy shit right here. You see all prop guns, everything. We doing our thing. You feel me? So when we filming, it's $777 a day. That's what we charge to film. But y'all getting to film with us. So y'all don't have to pay none of that. So you come and you filming, you getting the value of filming. That's $1,554 worth of stuff. So you come in, you get your interview, boom. You come back, you do your actor workshop, you get your training, boom. You get your manual so you learn how to deal with these fans, boom. And then what's not? Now you come on set and you film. Okay, boy, we filming now. Let's get it. Now, what happened now? We have events. Like, this is a red carpet event for the uh, Murder City, Grand Theft Auto Murder City. This was the red carpet event. See, on my side, Madam Versace right there with that long mink on. On the other side, you see Bell Sinatra. You see, we bringing him out on the platform. You see right here, Sideways Billy, Lou Style. He just, right after this, he had just won an award. He just won an award right after this. Boom, killing him. You see him right there on the red carpet. Look, these other type of events we throwing, these is private events. Black Hollywood, you see what I'm saying? My man birthday party is going stupid in the cabin. You feel me? <laughs> so anyway, Usually it's a hundred dollars if you VIP in one of these events. That's part of this package right here. So yeah, you thought talking about two thousand five hundred fifty dollars worth of stuff right here. What else? Gorilla hangouts. All the stars. All the people that's moving fast. Me on the hangouts. Talking about what's working. Oh man, I got all these fans and we doing this. Got all these fans. We doing this. I just did this with my fans and we jump like this. I just did this and we hit this. You know what I'm saying? So we on a gorilla hangouts doing our thing. This is some of the people. If y'all can see, we like to have fun. So that's five hundred dollars a year to be a part of that. Becoming our private group to see what we talking about as celebrities and how we move with our following. So you get the you get the interview. Let's back up. You come in. Now it's, it's a lot, but I'm I want you to be successful. I don't want to just throw you out into the world. I have like when I did uh drugs and strippers. Now when I was coming out, the guy was filming me. He was big eyed when I was talking about what I was doing in the streets. He knew it was viral, but he knew it shouldn't have been on no public TV. I instantly got indicted. You feel me? So I turned back around and then now I got, uh, now when we did the come up, I was ready for that wave that came. But when I did that reality show, I was not ready for that wave and I ended up going straight to prison. So when I did the come up, I was ready for the wave and I received it pretty dope. Now when we did hood chicks, so me caught the wave and we, neither one of us, I didn't know it was going to wave like that. So she went into a whole whirlwind of stuff and we was just trying to work it out as it was coming. Cause it's like, whoa, what in the fuck? You talking about hood movies is not regular. You talking about hood chicks, you got some devout fans that'll do anything for hood chicks. You see what I'm saying? For real. So, so then after hood chicks, we had Sasha. So now Sasha was like 18, 19. I'm like, man. This might be a little much for us, you know, like kind of stay close to us. She got kind of out away from us, man. It was going crazy. I don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? But by the time we got over the drugs and strippers, now sideways, Billy had it and he took it and he was cool with it. He kind of was just mild with it. He didn't get the whole blast because it was a whole cast of us there around him. So he didn't get the whole blast. But man, with that drugs and strippers, Sasha and, and, in uh, Milan, we call it Geisha, and then you got Idol and all them going up. It was a whole whirlwind, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, now we got this set up so you don't go into a whirlwind and be crazy with fame and all these fans and these groupies and these groupies with talent. and these, you, know, you know, it's a bunch of stuff going on. So you do your interview, man. We talk to you. We see what's going on in there. Boom, and then you do your workshop. So now you're getting to act out and, and try different things, try different characters, come out. And to and, and and be comfortable in this 
in this new acting you, you know what I'm saying? And then we're going to teach you, before you start even getting the film, we're going to work with you about being on set and then dealing with the fans and all that. Then we're going to get you to film. Because even while we filming, it's crazy. When we in public and we filming, it's crazy. So then we film. So then, boom. Now you got access to the events, the private events we have. So now you can come around. You can see us. You can connect with us. You feel what I'm saying? We can see you, connect with you. Because on set, it's all chemistry. It's all about how we how we moving as a unit. Not just you acting by yourself. You acting with this person and this person. Everybody's in the scene. You know what I'm saying? So what's the chemistry? Are you, you know, we're going to go into it a little bit later. But so you get that. So you get to come to our events. And then you get to hang out when we online and we just open it up about what's going on with our following. You know what I'm saying? You might have 10 followers or 20 followers. You might have 100 followers or thousands of followers. You know what I'm saying? But the principles are the principles when you're dealing with your following. So all of this in here, you're talking about thousands of dollars worth of value. And this is by invitation only. And I got a bonus one-time offer for you guys. This is a bonus one-time offer for you guys. Drugs and strippers and this, this come up. These are flyers right here in my hand. You're talking about 10,000 flyers and posters with your face on it, with on a murder city, on a murder city, with the murder city series with your face on a flyer, flying all over the city, flyers and posters with your face. You're talking about a $600 value. So you're talking about this is $3,651 worth of shit. Now, let's just say something. What if all it did was help you get an extra 2,000 new people? that like all your pictures in your post. So you, you post a picture, that bitch got 2,000 likes. What if that's all it did? Or as you get a part of this, and you start blowing up. What if all it is, you get a real 2,000 likes on all your shit? Now, what's starring in a hit product project actually worth to you? Now, I'm not talking about a regular project, like your friends doing it up the street and then a couple of niggas in the hood gonna see it. I'm talking about what's starring in a hit project worth to you. One that's doing hundreds of thousands of views or millions of views. Ones that's on, you know, streaming platforms and at theaters. What's that worth to you? How much would you pay to have a starring role in a movie that goes viral? That's just a question I want to ask. Now, the promo alone, I know because I pay it. The promo alone costs me over 20000 I'm spending at least twenty on promo. At the least, at the minimum, I'm spending twenty on promo. That's how we go viral. So look at this. This is me and professional teams of people working to go viral. This is now this is Murder City cast, me and teams of people producing, you know, viral content to go viral. And can you see why it's a good deal of $3,651 to be able to get all of that stuff? You all coming in VIP boards, you all red carpet, you all can you see why it's $3,651 worth of value. You going viral, you party you with celebrities that you never would have met. Now y'all friends. Once you on set, now y'all, you got y'all Instagram buddies and shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, for 1500 if it was a regular 1500 regular people, it'd be 1500 Yeah, People on here right now, because you special, y'all on my list, this is by invitation only. If you hear it's by invitation only. I switched the link at the last minute. Like, I don't want them other people on here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I switched the link at the last minute. But right now, you can move forward. It's $397. This is the investment. Not the $3,651 that is worth, clearly, $397. That's all. That's the investment in right here. You could go ahead, get in right now. Bitly, bit.ly slash acting program. Make sure you put all caps on acting program. Y'all go ahead. And pay right now and go get in. Now, this is everything, like I say, you're going to get the interview. That's $100 worth of value. Then you get a two-day acting workshop. We'll be working with you. First, we go over the couple, you know, the methods of acting. I'll teach you the gorilla method. And then, boom, we take you and we bring you in. And then we start pairing y'all up. We online pairing y'all up and y'all acting together. And we working with y'all online. That's the acting workshop. That was so slick last weekend. That was, that was so fun. That's a $500 value. The fans to follow we're training. Well, you get the actual book sets. You actually get the audios to go with it. We breaking everything down well, between, you know, fans, uh, followers, what's the difference, uh, where do groupies come in, bandwagoners, all that kind of stuff. This is important shit. I don't, you know, don't let nobody tell you. That shit is not important. That is utmost important. That's $297 value. Two film days a week where you actually coming through on Saturday and Sunday and we shooting and getting down with 6K cameras. I'm not talking about 4K. I'm talking about 6K cameras and shit. You know what I'm saying? We filming with, I put a clip up last week, a tank with the, 
with the semi-automatic, like, come here, you know what I'm saying? Looking like, oh, real shit. You know what I'm saying? You get two days of that. Now you get the VIP all access pass when we get doing all our events. You VIP in them. Now in the bonus, you get to hang out in our group. You get to hang out in our private group where we dropping real live game. I'm talking about the stuff that we really doing. You know what I'm saying? At the moment to keep our relevance and keep our flame going hotter. And then on top of that, the second bonus, you'll be on 10,000 posters and flyers and all of that for only $397. Nigga paid $150 to go rap at a show. I heard niggas is paying 150 bucks to rap at a hip hop show and shit. And that's cool. But I'm talking about being on some shit that's gonna be around for years and years of time. Niggas just, the lady that hit me today, her mama was watching the come up on Tubi and she heard the song that she was in the video. This is in Charlotte. She found me on the internet, hit me up from some movie I made, you know, years ago. You know what I'm saying? This is different than paying 150 bucks or 400 bucks to do it. So this is something that's going to be around for years. You can show your kids and your kids' kids. Anyway, you got a 30-day guarantee. Sign up today if you don't like it for any reason. I don't care if it's 29 days, 23 hours, 59 minutes from now. Just let me know, and I will get your money immediately back to you. Because if you don't want to be in this acting program where we doing this kind of shit here, you know, <laughs> get you your money immediately back and let you go where you're going. Now, for those who serious, you get your money immediately back. Go ahead, get in now. bit.ly slash acting program, all caps. It was one guy, he got in like, man, let me get in, man. Come on, let me get in, baby. I'm like, come on, man, I'll let you in. I got you. He come in with his money, right? And then like two days later, he was like, oh, baby, I need to get my money back. Got some bills to pay. I'm like, man, here you go, man. Take your money, dude. <laughs> go ahead, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But you get your money right back. Get it. Now get started. That's the big thing. This is a this is a program where you get to come in and be successful in your dream. How often do you get to walk in your dream? Spoil yourself right now. Get started. bit.ly slash acting program, right? We also got PayPal credit if you need credit for this. If you want to do it and you don't have them, if you can't borrow the money or go get the money or tell your people to ante up on the money or sell something to get the money, or something, you at the minimum least, you got PayPal right here. When you click on here and you sign a contract, boom, it's a contract. As soon as you click right here, you go to the contract. You can read everything yourself. Right here, when you click, when you go to here, this is the, the contract where you get to see everything yourself before anything else. Go check it out right now. bit.ly slash acting program. And when you go there and you go ahead and go in, then when you want to go ahead and pay, then you get the option you can pay with PayPal. Go on there, put your information in, take like two, three, four minutes. And go ahead and get the credit. Yeah, pay it. PayPal will pay it for you. You can PayPal back. You can pay them back in six months. And then you get to make payments. So there's no reason for you. If you want, do you want to act? If you want to act, there's no reason to go. You got to just go ahead and go ahead and get in. So who is this not for? Because <clears throat> it's not for everybody. <clears throat> if you have no access to the resources to get my help and to start and grow your brand, that's cool. If you don't have access to the resource, like I said, if you can't find nobody to help you or loan it to you or you borrow from or you can't ante it up from a couple different people, you can't sell something, you don't have no crazy, like nothing at all you can do, this probably is not the opportunity for you now if you a dabbler that just like to try stuff we not trying we really putting this shit out murder city the movie is already out and now we're doing the series to the movie we just got a deal for the movie i got a two movie deal for drugs and strippers and murder city so it's already coming out and then we coming right back with the series so if you don't want to try this is not nothing we trying and if you're not willing or able to put at least an hour a day into this like promoting it, let people know you're a part of it, working on your acting, rehearsing your craft, you know what I'm saying, getting your look together. If you're not willing to put an hour a day into it, this is probably not for you because we serious about this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this is a different type of program. Who this is for? If you're willing and able to take action, take action. You have at least an hour a day available, take action. You have the funds to invest in your success, take action. You serious and committed to your results, take action. I like them kind of people. I like, like I'm a director. I get off on action. You feel me? Nigga be talking. See, the thing about a set, 
as a director, I come on say everybody just be sitting around chilling. I'm instantly coming in. Let's get to work. Well, you know, I want to get to the point so I can say action. Just get cameras. Let's get all this shit up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get this. Y'all be practicing y'all scene. I'm ready to go ahead and go. Let's get it. Action. <laughs> you feel me? That's what I want to do. I want to say action and capture the fucking shit. You feel me? So let's go. Life is too short to stay, stay still. This is the end of the presentation. The time is now. Go to bit.ly slash acting program. This is it. And everything you're going to get to succeed, you get the interview, $100 worth of value, two-day acting workshop, $500 worth of value to becoming a movie star, fans to follower training, $297 value when you're getting your follow, knowing how to get them and what to do with them, your two film days a week, the, you know, your Saturday and Sunday, that's $1,500 a week, uh, a weekend that you get. You get the VIP all access pass, that's $100, uh, uh, $100 value. You uh, when you come hang out with us, and you can hang out with us online. I'm talking not talking about like everybody. I'm talking about us that's doing the shit. You get to come hang out with us in the gorilla hangout. Gorillas hang out. You feel me? And you also get on ten thousand flyers and posters. That's a six hundred dollar value. So you're talking about three thousand six hundred and fifty one dollars worth of value. Three thousand six hundred and fifty one dollars worth of value. Now only three ninety seven.